Now. Hey everyone, this is Patrick Bracken from the Shauna Foundation, and I'm here with McCall Sinnott and Alexandra Clayton. Their fantastic film, Unpacking, is showing at the Shauna Shea Film, De Foundation, uh, film Festival on September 22nd, uh, 5 p.m., that's a Friday, at the Hilton Garden Hotel in Worcester. Uh, so welcome. Thank you. Thank Thanks you so having. much. So uh, your film takes place in Bali. The location is beautiful. And somehow you did this on a very low budget. So can you talk a little bit about how this film came together? It came together in kind of an unusual way. Yeah. Do you want to answer that, Alexandra, or do you want me to? Take it, McCall. Okay. Um so Alexandra and I both met in a uh, female filmmaking collective and we're trying to get uh, our own individual projects off the ground and meeting some roadblocks on the financial side of things. And um, we really liked each other as artists and decided to collaborate on something together and decided to basically form like a co-op to make a film. Uh, so we sent a letter out to 40 friends and colleagues asking them if they wanted to go on a working vacation with us, pay their own way to Bali, and then be a part, be a producer on a project that, you know, if, if and when it made money, they would be a part of. Um, and worst case scenario, that they'd have something fun for the real and have a fun, interesting vacation sort of vacation in a, in a very work sense of things. <laughs> and so uh, 15 people said yes. And um, we went on this adventure and people signed up to do what they wanted on the film, some behind the camera, some in front of. If you worked in front of the camera, you also had to um, work behind the camera. You had to have a second job behind the camera as well. And that was how it was born. And it's just been like a, an amazing journey. That's fantastic. That's a that's a great story, and, and uh, one of the things we're trying to do at the Shauna Foundation is really support female filmmakers. So it's great to hear a story of of how uh, you all can come together at, to to make a film. Thank you. Um, so your your film deals with what what you call wellness tourism. How did you decide on that as as a subject and, and theme of your film? I can take this one. <laughs> um, well, McCall had traveled to Bali the year before and knew, just had like a deep affinity for it and thought it was incredibly beautiful. And there was a lot of um, energy there worth exploring and spending time with. And at the time when we decided to make this, we were both living in Los Angeles. I will say we are both... Um, people really committed to growth in our lives on a number of different planes. And if you've lived in LA or New York or so many places, there, there's just this element of wellness culture of how, what is self-care? How do you take care of yourself? How do you go about growing? Um, and Bali is like the epicenter for those kind of trips. It's like Bali or Tulum, Bali or Tulum. But if you are making the choice to go to Bali, which you know, so many people do every year. It's a much bigger commitment, a much more expensive commitment. Um, and there's an element of privilege to it. And we reached out to this diverse group of friends, but we ended up, the the people who responded to be actors were all white women. And we also felt like, well, this is a real sort of like true aspect of this part of the culture. Um, and let's look at it head on <laughs> like th this is the, this is the reality of this but there's still so many it's it's yeah there's a lot of like uh conflicting truths held at the same time in that experience that we wanted to explore so i think i answered that <laughs> oh, yeah, no, yes. good. great job um what what were the advantages and the challenges of co-directing the film I think, um, well, we always have, we share the burden 
So it's not all just on one person. Uh, but, but, you know, at the same time, we always have to get to a point where we agree and we're two different people with very strong personality, you know, strong, full, like, um, thoughts. And so we're, luckily we have a very similar aesthetic. So we, we sometimes disagree on how we go about, um, doing something, but we all, I don't know if we've ever disagreed aesthetically. We just have a very similar aesthetic, at least on a wide level, you know, like there might be little tiny things that we maybe disagree about, but not so much that it's like an, an impasse that we can't get past. And so uh, that collaboration of being able to, it's, it's a challenge to work with, you know, to like, like a marriage it's, you know, in order to have a good, um, collaboration you have to really listen and bend and grow with your creative partner or otherwise and so that is both a challenge and a true blessing because it's great um for growth you know I'm gonna just add to that quickly that um this was, we were like, well, we'll, we'll make it with our friends. We'll make something scrappy. We want to make something outside of the traditional barriers that take years. And we've been working on this, you know, for almost five years now. And to have a partner, we've had so many collaborators that have come in for months at a time or weeks at a time, or maybe have been in it for a year or two with us. But it, it was just such a bigger endeavor actually to make a movie all the layers and decisions that go into it than we understood and to have another person equally committed to it through all of these years like while we might yeah have worked with people for these chunks of time like I don't think more than a day or two has gone by where McCall and I aren't talking about some aspect of the film in all these years and to have to have somebody on this endless journey and learning curve with has made all the difference to to yeah. keep up the stamina on your own I just what a challenge and that can, that can come in different roles for different people like that might be a producer role or a writer role or I don't know but like having a true uh collaborator and like equally committed collaborator has just um meant the film's actually out there in the world now because one of us didn't give up on it. <laughs> That's great. Speaking of uh, the challenges, this is a true ensemble piece. You have, I think, eight different women and each of them has an arc. Um, so uh, what are the challenges of, of writing and directing a story like that where everybody's a main character in a way? I think, I think there's a lot of things that happen with each of the characters that you don't end up seeing on screen. Like, you know, and so I think a lot of maybe the, I don't know if it's a challenge, but I feel like it really helped us to, um, you know, really give the actors that played these characters. Um, we actually asked our actors to come to each character with like something they wanted to work on or like a sense of their own vulnerability, something that would ground them in reality. And so by doing that, I think it, it gave each of these characters a real life that exists even beyond the screen. And so I think that it allowed us to only see maybe parts of each character because, you know, cause you could watch each, each one of them for, for an hour and a half and, and there would be material there, but because you, you don't have the time and we really wanted it to be like a tight, you know, there's a first feature. No one wants to watch someone's two and a half hour first feature, unless it's like, you know, we're not, it's not, I don't know, unless you're Spielberg, I don't think you get that luxury. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so um, I feel like, we got to, um, they're, they're just like a very emotionally grounded, each of them, you know, there's a, there's a whole life going on. And so I think figuring out how to weave the stories so that they all kind of came together and have like a thematic arc, um, you know, post-production was uh, its own thing to figure out how to, you know, how to edit this so that it would tell everyone's stories and, um, 
be interesting and come together. I'm going to add a small, a bit to that, which is like, McCall and I both love ensembles and ensemble is a totally different experience. And like people seek out these retreats for this experience. We're in this sort of culture of like loneliness and isolation. And part of the point of our movie is it's, it's not one story. And like, I don't know, your, your life is only your own, but your life is like so influenced by the people around it. And that's like the beauty of going on a retreat like this is you get to like expand by opening yourself up to the others around you. So it was never meant to be a singular focus. It was meant to be like, well, what's the experience when it's many energies sharing an experience? <laughs> That's great. It really comes across and, and uh, you did a fantastic job with the editing. The story is really yeah. slow. Thank you. Um, uh, so as I mentioned, with the Shona Foundation, we're really trying to uh, put female filmmakers and uh, traditionally uh, marginalized communities front and center. We're really happy with the fact that this year over 50% of our uh, uh, our submissions came from women, 75% from women and, and uh, the LGBTQ plus community. Um, half of our features that we're showing are directed by women. So what I'd like to know is what advice do you both have for female filmmakers who would like to direct a, film, a feature? That's, well, McCall and I found each other in a female directing collaborative. And I will say um, that th those groups are like the women that I have met in those groups have just continued to be such an important part of my journey because there's a lot of strange energies in the filmmaking world and a lot of um, intentional exclusion and gatekeeping. Um, but I will say there's there are these wonderful communities of women filmmakers who really are holding the spirit that there's room for all of us to be working <laughs> and the world needs all of us to be working and needs all of us to be telling our stories. So. If you find support, find support that's gonna be generous and sharing of resources. And like the, the heart of the group we first came in was exactly for that, was like, we shared resources. I need an actor who's 78 and this, whatever. I need a sound person that can handle this scenario. And it was like, I have a recommendation for you. I have Cause your success is my success, is the, is the expanding of the narrative. Um, so, uh, don't try to do it alone. <laughs> try to like embrace their, their, it's a little harder to find, but there are meetups and there are networks and there are even like online groups um, reach. I, and I just think too, it's like very easy to be shockingly still in rooms that are like almost all men um, and to, to sh get to share the journey and those distinct roadblocks that women are still fa facing in the industry um, and hear ways others have navigated around it just makes all the difference. So find a, <laughs> even if it's online, find a female filmmaking community. Um, it will help everything feel so much more possible, I think. Yeah. And I would also say, um, figure out how, like, what story can you tell now? Like if it's your first feature, getting a first feature off the ground is really challenging because there's the, I mean, making a movie is not cheap. Even on a micro budget level, it is an enormous challenge. And so what is a story that you can tell with high production value with what you already have? And I mean, a lot of that was what we did. We, you know, we wrote a story around, um, the circumstances in which we went to tell it. And I think everyone has an interesting story that is their world. And so, you know, you can be a little more specific and have that dream project maybe on your second feature when you have demonstrated what you can do, but on your first, be willing to listen and collaborate and adjust so that you can, there's been a lot of adjustment. Like we just had things happen and we're like, okay, we have to adjust to this. We don't have the luxury of having another day or like half our 90% of our crew got sick on set. And so like 
the film changed be, like when Charlotte doesn't go to Ubud with the rest of the group that's because she I my character like McCall got sick on set and could not go to you know set that day <laughs> and so you know be willing to adjust like we didn't have the luxury of being like adding days we just had to adjust the script and so uh so much of indie filmmaking is being flexible and how can you make your um challenges a win you know and so much of like life is that way I think like if we can adjust and figure out how to do this when it doesn't go our way then you can make a movie over time excellent so now that you have that first feature out of the out of the way what's next for the film and what's next for the two of you oh wow well we're so excited our film is um a part we're in six festivals this next month which is like our most sort of juicy month we've had yet and it's just so great to find a festival like yours that really has an active community engaged with it who will show up who we can watch it with and talk to it about that's like it been a big part of the journey for McCall and I is actually getting to sit with audiences and get that feedback and hear how different people respond to it and I'd say we we each have our own, um, we each have features of our own and pilots of our own that we're developing. And we do have another project together that we're developing that is another ensemble. It's also destination. It's also exploring a, a different theme, but a central theme from a lot of different lenses. Um, and we're so excited for for that and for this film to show like, well, look at look at what we could do if you if you're in the film industry I think something we both feel really proud of is like look at what we did with the resources we had that it's was such a challenge and it's very rare um for something to come off like I've I, with anyway um so we're sort of hoping like trust us that we we can create this beautiful ensemble dynamic and handle a number of stories and handle a theme um in a way that goes deep, but also remains pretty easy, digestible watching. So people really want to engage with it and take it on and um, give us another chance to do, to do it in a different way with some more resources and we will not disappoint. So yeah, we're, we're eager for our next opportunities and trying to sort of use the momentum of the film right now to get us into conversations of, uh, who wants to help us with this next project. <laughs> well, um, again, congratulations on the film. It's fantastic. Uh, everybody out there watching, I hope you'll come to see our screening at the Shauna Shea Film Festival, 5 p.m. Friday, September 22nd. That's at the Hilton Garden Hotel in Worcester. And uh, thank you uh, both for joining us. Thank you so much. Patrick, have a great day. You Looking too. forward to meeting in person. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Well, we can't wait to see you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.